Welcome to another episode of Marathon Training with Luis Orta. Today we're doing a fast long run at Captuli. Captuli is 5.50 a.m. about to do 30k long run. Uh, this is the first time I warm up for a long run in Kenya. That can only mean one thing, uh, it's gonna go down. So I'm a little nervous but I'm ready I think. Uh, we're joining a big group and I think, I still don't even know, they're doing 30k progressive. So I think it's gonna be fast. Captuli is also flattish and fastish. So I think that's why people come here to run fast. So let's see if I can hang. I'm just gonna try my best to see how that goes. So today we did 25 kilometers progressive. I think this is 3, 15, 3, 13, 3, 12. Yes. So I hope everyone will enjoy. <laughs> Yes. Yes. yes, we are going to do 30 kilometers. Listen, my friend. 30 kilometers. Pace 320. Target 1 hour 40 minutes. It's okay? Yes, it's okay. Of course. I am looking at you, you know, you're going to be in Kia Kwanza. I love to know your new Russian. The route is, uh, is like this. Eh? We are going like. Uh, I think it's uh, 6.2 kilometers, then we turn right, left. left, we turn left, and then we go, there is a loop, then new tarmac, eh? we are going to the tarmac, no road today, so we are going, and then we come back, we join at around uh, 11 gate, yeah. 11 point something, and then we go, like, uh, we will turn on uh, 18 gate, 17 gate. We turn 17. Yeah, we turn on 17 and then we come straight. We will not go to the, 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 to the loop again. So we will be coming straight when you are coming back. It is straight up to somewhere there, like uh, 3k from here. We will finish somewhere, like, somewhere there. Is it clear? Yeah. yeah. And uh, don't uh, confuse yourself about uh, your training. You must follow the program. You you must tell us which race are you going to race, so we can uh, show you how to to alternate. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Set your watches. Ah, very very well. Sure. I go sir. Louis. Yes. You yeah, how many are doing? Thirty. <laughs> Okay. Go back. Start from here. Yeah, yeah. Andy. Yeah. Yeah. Left, the coach at the piano, man. Left, left side. You are ready? Yes. Five. We are doing well. We are doing well. We are We are doing Good. 
So this team, this is Cheboy's team. Cheboy is one of my Pacers, or now he's one of my friends, really good friends. So he talked to his coach and he asked if we, when I say we, it's Nate and I, if we could join the long run group and they were more than happy to have us. We told them we were bringing the cameras and they love having the cameras because like I said in previous episodes, it's exposure for them and they need the exposure. They like the exposure. So, so it was perfect. And they tell us how far we're going. They tell us how fast we're going and we just say yes. And I mean, we do it. And I think it was perfect for me because having such a big group of such talented athletes. I mean, a lot of these guys are 210, 208 runners, and you know they're definitely a little faster than me. And they're trained; they're used to training Kenya, so they push me, they help me, and they motivate me to run faster. And I felt great. That's that's in this trip to Kenya. That's what I learned the most, and what I made me the most happy was that. I felt pretty good and I was able to keep up with them and I actually was able to drop a lot of them in most of the runs, maybe not today, but in a lot of the runs. So it was great having a team, it was great having guys pushing me to run fast and to run far. Kaptuli is the second road that people do their long runs in. So to one side is Moiben, the town of Moiben, and to the other side is the town of Kaptuli. Kaptuli is flatter than Moiben. It's still not flat. When I say flat is or flatter, is it, it, this means it's a it's a really good place to run, but it definitely has a couple hills and a couple downhills. So it makes it a very fair, fast place to run um, at altitude. Again, 2,500 meters of elevation, and today was kind of hot. So it's a hard place to run, but a really good place to run. So for today I had the option to go between 25k and 30 kilometers. Of course in my head I wanted to go 30k, but I said I'm gonna start my run, I'm gonna see how I feel, and then depending how everything goes I'm gonna make the decision to go 25 or to go 30. I ended up regretting my decision at the end because having the option to choose between 25 and 30 when you're hurting, it's easy to go with the shorter route. So at the end I finished, I was tired. I mean, it was definitely a hard effort. I worked really hard, but I was feeling good. And I could have finished the 30K if I was mentally prepared for it, but because I had the option to do a little less and I was struggling a little bit, I decided to stop with most of the guys at 25. But then I saw that a big group or at least half the group kept going to run 30K and I was devastated. I know it's something dumb, I know it doesn't mean anything, and I still had a really good day, but seeing the guys going 30 and me staying at 25, I felt so sad. But it was a really good day, a really fast day. We were running basically pretty close to marathon goal pace at altitude, because we were averaging around 312, 315, 310s per kilometers, and we are at 2,500 meters of elevation. So if you take that to sea level, that's close to 307 per K, which is five minute pace per mile. And that's my goal marathon pace. Um, I'm trying to run a 211 or around 211 marathon, which 211.25 is the Venezuelan national record. And that's one of my big and main goals that I still have left in this sport. So running 25K, 30K with these guys at marathon goal pace at altitude, was definitely challenging but I felt really good my breathing was good my form was good I was relaxed I was enjoying it I was having fun I was practicing my drinks so everything was going great long-distance runners always are trying to overachieve and 25k was probably perfect but I definitely wanted to go 30 at the end and I didn't um, Live and learn, I guess. Next time, I definitely know I shouldn't give myself the option of going less or more. You just have to say, if we're going 30, we're going 30 and that's it. No options, no way out. And then, then if you're hurting, if you're feeling the effects of the fast paces, you, ha you just have to commit because there's no other option. Here you can see how the group is getting smaller. 
after 20k a lot of people start staying behind and the group gets smaller and smaller and smaller i would say half of this group finished the 30k a lot of a lot of them stopped with me at 25 then others stopped at 27 28 and a little group of three or four made it to 30k but they push each other they help each other and that's the best way to run faster all right so 30k for today we did a 2k warm-up and then 25k uh, tempo i guess uh, 318 pace uh, and then a 3k cooldown for 30k some of the guys were went instead of 25k tempo they went 30k but i only had 25 i felt good i wanted to keep going i wanted to be 30 but the smart thing was to just stop at 35 and leave it there but Thank you for watching another episode of Training in Kenya with Luis Orta. We hope you enjoyed this video. We made it with a lot of love and a lot of hard work. Don't forget to subscribe, that way you'll get a notification every time a new video is out. And don't forget to please like, share and comment. Thank you so much, we appreciate it. And remember, more cool content is coming soon. Yeah, you too. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that was crazy.